Hey everyone, this is Story Brooker Rapidry. Um, this hopefully quick update, well, kind of, I guess. Um, well, I guess I'll show you guys the chickens. The little blue one is actually an Old England game on him. I don't know if I've told you that, but he, he was actually hatched at the same time as these same time these ones were so he he's actually really small he'll stay that small actually um they're almost real they're almost fully feathered almost as you can see it they've only got you know their head and you know some of their breasts so and I'll show you the other rabbits um exciting news uh, she did give birth to I think five you can't see them now um, I tried doing a video yesterday it did not work um, so but I'm pretty sure there is five um, what I saw that I think there is one Harlequin like her um, Two broken chinchillas like him that will look like their dad, um, and maybe an opal chinchilla or blue. The chinchillas in blue, the chinchilla is really dark, so I don't think it would be that one, but it could. Um, I don't really want to show you them because she's kind of nerved out still, and she probably always will be. She's, I know what most people say, you know, oh yeah. Aggressive rabbits will always be in the thing, you know. Oh, yeah, aggressive rabbits. They'll pass the aggressiveness down to their babies. I don't I don't think that. Um, their mom was the aggressivest rabbit I've ever seen. She's bitten me probably ten times. Um, attacked me probably over, you know, I've ha I had her over a year. Not over a year, probably about seven months seven probably over seven months eight probably nine months okay not almost a full year um as you can see he's wanting me to open his cage to be petted um <clears throat> he is a sweetheart he's not like his mom or anything i don't think that french slop does are moodier than any other rabbit I, that's what I think. I've never seen a moodier rabbit than a French slop. Some of the does are actually very sweet. Like this one is pretty sweet. She'll sit there and let you pet her. Um, this doe is a little bit meaner. You know, like when you open the cage, she'll run to the back of the cage, and when you go to pet her, she'll growl at you. Um, they had the same mom, but I mean, we. I don't know how she turned out to be like that. Uh. Only a couple months ago, she was really sweet. I think it's because I've been picking her up because I've been trying to treat her eyes. And this young girl, um, is, is sick and hasn't been eating or drinking. Um, she when I first saw this, I. Uh, she wasn't eating any of, any of her pellets and pretty sad because I think she's going to die. Because like, look, I didn't notice till her food dish was all the way filled up. Like, that took like two to three days to fill up. Um, so that's pretty bad. Uh, but everybody else is doing really good. Well, I don't have any up in the topper cages anymore. I just can't reach those. Like, I just can't. Um, this would be perfect height for me, you know, like where this is. Like, you can reach in and it's fine. Like this it would be perfect height if they had an opening door on the front and the top. Because I can't fit my hand, my, like, I have to reach over to get into it. Um, and yeah, she, she's been being a brat lately. 
She just flicks all her food out of her dish, digs it out. And yeah, I wanted to show you guys these babies if my camera doesn't mess up this time. They're actually a week and almost two weeks old, I think, today. Since today's May 1st. Um, <laughs> there's going to be two lilacs. Those two right there will look like this guy right here. Um, they're not self lilacs. Um, he's a lilac chinchilla. And I don't know what these ones will be. They could be lilac chinchillas. Um, but not for sure. Then the rest of them are going to be the ruby-eyed whites, ruse. So yeah, and then of course every single time she goes back there, I want her to move, but she does that. It's so hard because, like, hello, can't really get in here. I have to lean on the wire that's on the front of it. Stop it. She's one of my um better moms, I guess you could say about having babies like this is her first litter so she's kind of you know like protective but I mean of like me touching her babies she's kind of like okay you know like okay you're gonna touch my babies that's fine and then like when I go out reach my hand out of it the nesting box she's kind of like whoa don't move that fast <laughs> I don't know like that's how most rabbits act I don't know how to explain how they really act you know but yeah and then I did move around these guys. Um, apparently, this is my only Harlequin book now. And apparently, these guys down here that I thought were bucks are does. So, I have three Harlequin does and one buck now. Um, I'm going to be selling my buck, actually. I, th I think I'm going to be selling him. I don't know. I want to, but kind of don't, uh, since he's my only buck now. Uh, I was going to end up selling this one as a buck, so I think that's what I'm going to do. It's not for breeding or anything, so there's it's only supposed to be for a pet, so like he even cares. Um, and it's a little kid that wants a pet, and... So I don't... I don't know what the harm would that be in that. He said he re would really like one of these Harlequins. He wanted to get my black English Lop Doe, but she's actually already sold. So I'm at, I already did sell her. I'm really sad because I really do love her, but I don't know. Hopefully she doesn't die because I'm supposed to get $50 from her. That sounds mean, but that's what I'm hoping what are the cats doing kitty i think she has something and eating it or is sniffing down a hole <laughs> what the heck tosca or no well that's tiger lily the darker one and that's her mom uh kiara i think i can't even remember their names we have um three outdoor cats as you can see that's mustachio that's the dad of her um what are you doing tiger lily oh they were drinking some water in the tarp mmm that looks so good but as you can see she's kind of you know like she's kind of getting dehydrated and she's kind of getting skinnier I do have hay and grass in there for her. Um, I don't know what is wrong with her, but I see she's peed. But I mean, she hasn't pooped in like, I don't know how many days. Like, I don't know. Hopefully she lives. 
If you guys know what's going on with her, um, please tell me because I do not know. And I don't know, I only know two rabbit people that would maybe know what's going on. And I've already asked them and I don't think it's what they say. So, as you've seen on the video, that's what she looks like. She usually would jump around. As you've seen in a couple of other videos, she'll jump around, jump around, you know. <laughs> um, and be all hyper jumping around her cage. But she is not doing that now. So, she's getting a little bit, you know, I guess you could say weaker. Um, two, the other two rabbits died. The black New Zealand doe and uh, the broken New Zealand doe. They died of bloat. Of some sort of bloat. They stopped eating and drinking. Um, I don't know why, but it was about a week or two ago. I don't know if I said that in a different video. Um, I don't know if I did, but if I did, yeah. And it's... I had to give them... I don't know if I have it out here or not, but I do. It's over in the other barn. Um, sell a soulmate... That's what you give it, give it to them if they that happens, but you have to catch it qu quick, 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 because they die in like three days after they have it. You have to, you know, notice that they're not eating or drinking. You have to, you know, catch it on really fast or they will die. That's what happened to mine. Um, I didn't notice they had it till the last day. And I didn't know what to do till the one, the first one died. And the first one that died was the broken, broken uh, New Zealand doe. And then the second one was the black New Zealand doe. She, I actually noticed that after her bloat, after she died, the broken New Zealand doe died. Um, I don't know if it was just them that you know, like ate something wrong because they were two. The two were in the same cage, so. I don't know like I'm pretty mad mad and sad about what happened uh but anyways I really do want to look into the nesting box but I kind of don't want to really disturb her that much and so yeah that's pretty much it um in a couple days I'll probably show you guys them actually you know in out of you know like pull the next nesting box forward and look into it and look through it um I probably should do that today and see if she actually fed them if they got you know big tummies and stuff so I think I will do that today but I mean not right now I'm sorry it's not just because you know I'm doing a video and I don't want to show you guys but anyways um that's pretty much it I still haven't cleaned up this whole mess um I did move my pin over there. I still need to go and clean up this mess. <laughs> um, we're ah, I'm so sick of it. Uh, we're end up we're gonna end up selling our ferrets. Um, today I'm gonna put an ad on Craigslist. If you're interested in three ferrets, one. I'm not going to say it on the ad because, you know, nobody's going to want a blind ferret. But the boy ferret, I think, is going blind. He still walks around fine and is moving around fine. Uh, he does, I don't know what he really acts like. He is like, you know, kind of wobbles around sometimes. And if you open the cage, he's the last one to see that you've opened the cage door. And... Yeah, so I don't know what's wrong with him, but I think he is kind of going blind. Uh, anyways, I'm going to be selling those. Um, I've got one of those Ferret Nation cages, the biggest ones you can buy, that sell for like $300 brand new. Um, I'm going to be selling all of the, the cage in there. There's my inside cat, Pooh, my baby. I don't know if you can see her. Anyways, but I'm selling the Ferret Nation cage and uh, the ferrets all together for 200 It They come with all their, you know, toys and blah, 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 and the water bottle and the, all their food and the litter that I have and um, ferret shampoo and ferret lax and blah, 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 but 
that's pretty much it. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.